Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Genjoy Plans. <laughs> this was not planned, but I'm trying to um, prohibit spoilers. Um, I am filming my July mystery roundup in collaboration with Gabrielle of Gabrielle Plans like we do every month. This video is super fun, so don't forget to check out her channel and check out all of her thoughts on the mysteries for Glam Planner, Crest Press, Sugar, not Sugar Pop is, um, Scribble Prints Co. and Pink Diamond Planner Co. So let's get into it. I will say again, spoiler alert, most of these kits have been out for a while, but I know the Glam Planner one just came out not too long ago. So if you don't want to see it, this is my fair warning. In no particular order, let's dive in and let's chat about these kits. Like always, if you have any thoughts, let me know down below. Or if you got any of these, let me know when you're using it, what's your plan. And I love just chatting about them. So let's get into it. The first one is Glam Planner. This kit is called Cobalt Coast. It's a very, like, I think of, like, East Coast. Um, I'm going to zoom in here a little bit more. There we go. It's, like, East Coast. Um, like, I don't know. I've never been, like, to the Hamptons. But for some reason, this, like, screams that for me. But just kind of that beachside. And, yeah, it looks super pretty. The colors are pretty muted and light. But I do do know that that's like that's kind of the vibe and I feel like it's just a sophisticated twist and just like a sophisticated summer kit and I kind of like that it is a silly studio art so um you can see that in the fashion girls here, which I think are pretty cute. I love that ring. I used to want that ring so badly. But the colors you can see are just kind of like a, maybe a touch blah. But at the same time, it goes with the vibe of the kit. And I feel like if you were to pull in maybe like a green or something else, then it just wouldn't be as peaceful. And so I understand. The bottom wash is pretty fun. A little swirly. And those are the colors, like I said. So I think if somebody were like interested in doing like more muted summer and um like I said, like I keep saying, sophisticated summer is all that comes to mind. But I do think that this is a pretty kit. Some of it is a little like basic, like it seemed not basic, like simple, but I do kind of like it. I feel like it would look good with some overlays over without like crowding it too much. Um, I personally appreciate that there's no like food stuff because I'm not like a food person. But maybe it's because like I love the water in the like the lake and to me I feel like this could work as a lake kit as well it's just really relaxing so I like it a lot which might be kind of like surprising because I don't like muted kits but I'm kind of feeling this kit it's pretty it's pretty cute so yeah I and there's the double box scene I just think I think it's really pretty and it comes with this, what does she call it? Seafoam blue. And I will say for the foil overlays, like that doesn't look too crowded. Maybe she's kind of listening to people and like, I feel like people have been saying that they don't like the super busy foil overlays. So um, I kind of am seeing that here. And then the bottom washi overlay, I feel like that it, it's, it's good. I, I don't know. I think this is, I just maybe I'm shocked or optimistic, but... Yeah, I feel like this could look really good with some quote overlays as well. So that's the Glam Planner Kit. I feel like this would look so good in August, kind of as you transition into fall and all that stuff. So that's the Glam Planner Kit. Here is the Crest Press Kit. And oh my freaking goodness, like, hello, hello, hello. This kit... I screamed when I saw it, but then foolish me, like literally foolish me. It's completely sold out on the website. I waited too long to order and then, yeah, so I'm really hoping this kit, kit gets reformatted for next year so I can get it like in my lineup early on, but it is just so cute. Like this is so unique. I feel like we've seen a lot of summer kits and a lot of bright ones, but the color tones are just like, oh, they are so good. They're so good. And then this, like, I want 
that house. I want to be there with the water slide. I love the towel rolls. I love this pineapple tree, the outfit, like seriously, everything about this is so cute. And the colors, I just literally lost my mind at the colors. Love the combination of that bright blue with kind of the sand tones and then the, like that seafoam green. So cute. So I'm a fan. I love a water bottom washi. And then these fashion girls, like how generous is this? This is so generous and they are just like really fun. I love that there's an underwater girl and that the bottom washi has the sand that it just, it ties it all in so nicely. And the foil bundle that came with it is so cute. Like, oh my gosh. I know it came in the mystery, came with this kit format, but in gold. But I love that it, this blue got released as well. And I feel like that blue would look so cute but also gold would look so cute with it as well. But just like the seashells with the coral, with the bottom washi, it, I just like words are so hard right now because it is so good. And I am just kicking myself that I did not get this kit. So shame on me. I will get it hopefully next year when it gets reformatted. I think it was like, it was very well loved. Like I said, it sold out pretty fast so um I would be surprised if it didn't get reformat so fingers crossed um but yeah I'm just here for it it was good and it's funny because like this kind of came later on for summer but everybody was like clear your lineup like gotta make room for it or you know if some people aren't making room for it then they're definitely making sure it comes in their lineup for next year but it's just such a good August kit I mean really anytime Okay, let's move straight into Pink Diamond Planner Co. This was like astrology. I forget what it was called. What does it say? Can I see? Mm, I honestly cannot see what it says. Anyways, it's like astrology theme. I love the colors. I'm here for navy. Love the bright purple. This bedroom is like maybe a little childish for me, but like I get the vibes. Um, yeah, so these are, these are the colors. Like I said, the colors are super pretty. I love the bold. Um, kind of for some reason reminds me a little bit of the Crest Press mystery, Cyber Monday mystery. Although that was kind of more space themed. Well, I guess this is kind of a little, I don't know, gives me a tiny itty bitty like similarity maybe you see it maybe you don't um then that cool like observation with the sky like that's this gorgeous background I love the like 15 millimeter added the patterns are really pretty love all the fashion options that girl's hair how fun is that love the extra color oh it's so cute like I love these jewel tones but like that pop that color is so cute and I love that you can get this extra page and that tall girl so cute. So yeah, let's see. Let's look at the foil it came with. Oh, astronomy lover. Um, it comes with silver star hollow, which I do feel like is a good mix. I love that star bottom washi. Like it's just so pretty and cute because it's like a doodle star. It's on my list to pick up one of these a days, but yeah, so I don't personally love it, but it is a good anytime kit. And I feel like if you are not like a fall person, this would be such a cute, or even if you're like over summer, this would be such a cute August kit, which I know I keep saying, but I do feel like it, it, it would be, cause I feel like there's something about like summer, like a night sky, looking at the stars, staying up late. So I kind of get that vibe. And then I also could see it being a really cute September kit to transition with the like moodier colors. And it's just like a good anytime kit. But I do feel like it, it truly could be used like anytime. Like this would be fun in February or January. So yeah, I'm, I like it. It's cute. Then last up, this is the Scribble Prince Co. Mystery. It is like an outdoor movie theme. I live for the hunter green color in this kit. It's so cute, but I'm not gonna lie. When this came out, I was like, didn't we already do a like movie kit? They did like the stay at home movie kit a couple months ago. I can't even remember. And I feel like there was like an outdoor movie. I don't know. 
it just feels like a little repetitive in this like I know people love their food boxes but to me I feel like I see this in like every mystery so I don't know it's like not my favorite um but I do understand like the theme concept I also don't know if I like that that box that girl is like here like it's an alternative skin well I guess that makes sense that's what we used kids used to do I do love that scene that's gorgeous and the colors I was kind of disappointed in but I do love the fifth color and I think omitting this just like blah color I do love the copper and I do love the green so yeah but it just reminds me so much of the other mystery uh, like not color wise but just concept wise this is really cute though love the little feet and this I just I feel like this would good be another good August or September kit if you're transitioning in the color scream fall I do love that this page is really fun to me I mean I don't know if we need the checklist it would be nice to get this color in like a washi sampler and then maybe just like some more boxes or something I don't know but I do love the concept of adding the doodle sampler within I thought that was a cute idea let me know your thoughts on like this new format it seems like it was a really long time ago so I don't know if I remember everything but yeah and then this is cute like I do love a good like a s'mores hand and that's like gorgeous like that who would take the time to do that unless you were an event planner so I don't know I don't love it um also this girl just looks like she's stretching <laughs> I know it's like an artistic pose but I just all I think of is just like stretching your arms up um yeah and then it came with oh yeah that's cute little like blanket and it ties in the pattern because I know that's the pattern for the green is the plaid um and I know Andre's used it for some other things as well and then it came with the pink rose gold foil which I just like I don't I see it and I'm sure somebody's gonna rock it and it's gonna look really good. I think it's gonna pop against the green really well, like the green bottom washi, but I do feel like copper would be the move. I think copper foil would look so cute with this. So that's probably what I would do, but again, that's just me. So yeah, that's kind of my rambly thoughts about this month's mystery. If I were to put them in an order, sorry if I'm going too fast, this clearly would be number one by far by far. It's just like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. Um, you're probably tired of me gushing about it. And then number two would have to be Glam Planners, which I, I just feel like I'm kind of shocking myself that I like this, but I just do. So yeah, I'm, I do. I just do. <laughs> I think if I were to ever use this kit, I would color block it and I would include just one day of this neutral and two days of the darker. It's kind of just like a monochromatic kit for blue. And as somebody that doesn't like pink and I don't know, I feel like I do, but I do like monochromatic kits. It's like refreshing to have a blue palette, if that makes sense. Maybe that's kind of the vibe. And like I said, I love lake and water stuff and that it's not like the beach with like floaties and stuff. So that would be number two. So this is Crest Presses number one, Glam Planners, Glam Planners number two. Um, Plank Diamond Planner Co. is going to be number three for me. I don't love the theme, but the colors are super cute. And then Crest Press would be number four. So let me know your thoughts, your foil pairings, when you're going to use it. And don't forget to check out Gabrielle's channel. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye, everyone.